Bird Box may have terrified you with its chilling post-apocalyptic setting, but it was originally going to be even darker. Yippee ki movie lovers, I'm Jan, and in this video I'm revealing the horrific alternate ending for Bird Box, as well as another terrifying river scene you never got to see, plus a deleted scene that actually showed the creatures on screen. Spoilers ahead, so take care if you haven't seen the movie yet. At the end of Bird Box, Mallory, boy and girl survive the rapids despite being capsized, but then end up separated in the woods where they're tempted by the creatures to remove their blindfolds. Terrorised and chased by the monsters, they flee towards the school for the blind where they eventually find safety. In the original script, however, as the monsters chase them through the trees, boy and girl make it to the door, but Mallory trips and gets left behind. Boy and girl get taken in safely by Rick, but Mallory, who's stranded, is flipped over by one of the creatures. The creature's shadows fall over her face, and Mallory fights back, telling the malevolent forces to stay away. She pulls out her knife, then in a horrifying moment puts the knife's tip right next to her eyelid, warning the creatures that she'll make sure she can't look at them. The creatures buzz around her, and in a close-up shot, Mallory pricks her eye with the knife, drawing a drop of blood. Seeing this, the creatures all move back and she's finally able to get inside the building. This horrific moment would have tipped its hat to the end of Josh Malaman's book on which the movie's based, and which is also much darker. Spoiler for the novel now. In the book's ending, after Mallory arrives at the School for the Blind, she discovers that many of the residents have gouged out their own eyes, so they can't be tempted by the monsters. In the novel, Rick tells Mallory that previously the school's security was much weaker, and a creature managed to break into the building. During the attack, many people died, and a mother killed four children in a fit of rage. The community decided they couldn't risk it happening again, so they blinded themselves with various implements including forks, kitchen knives, and even their own fingers. The original screenplay has a similar scene that happens earlier, but was cut from the final film, where one night Mallory almost blinds her son deliberately with a hypodermic needle. The scene takes place at night, and Mallory is terrified as she can hear the wind or creatures bumping against the house. The two children are asleep, covered with blankets, but Mallory has reached the point where she's decided that blinding them is the only hope for their survival. Mallory places a needle right up close to boy's eye, but can't go through with it after girl wakes up starving. Startled. Bird Box director Susanna Beer has said in an interview with Polygon that when she decided to make a movie about the apocalypse, it was important to her that there be a hopeful ending. Beer says she didn't want the audience to leave with a completely bleak point of view, and so it was key that this scary dystopian story has a hopeful undercurrent. Certainly a version of Bird Box with Mallory almost gouging out her own eyes, very nearly blinding her son on purpose, or discovering a community of people who've clawed out their eyes as the only remedy against the monsters, is much bleaker even if her family does still survive. Indeed, speaking to The Hollywood Reporter, Beer also said that she cannot do horror, and is much more interested in suspense and thrillers, preferring things that are threatening but not gory. Which seems to be why some of the more gory elements of the story have been toned down. Unlike many horror or monster movies, Bird Box decides not to show us what the creatures look like beyond shadows passing over surfaces, and how the wind blows and leaves swirl when they move. However, there was a moment in the original script, which was also filmed, where Mallory has a nightmare about seeing one of the creatures. The script describes a scene where Mallory is making a phone call and a creature creeps up behind her. She hears it and shuts her eyes, trying to hide, but the monster stretches out two ragged fingers with wet black talons on the ends, which press against her cheek and eyebrow. Similar to the final film where Gary forces Cheryl to look, in the deleted scene the creature forces Mallory's eyes open and she sees a wide-mouthed, pale, wet face with bulging eyes like a deep-sea monster. Mallory then wakes up petrified from her nightmare and goes downstairs for some water. In the script, this is the moment when Gary arrives at the house, and it's Mallory, not Olympia, who lets him in. In an interview with Bloody Disgusting, screenwriter Eric Heistra says he only added the nightmare scene with the creature because there was a time when one of the producers said, you have to see something at some point. Director Susanna Beer said that they actually spent a lot of time filming the scene, but what happened was that when they reviewed the footage, it just ended up being funny rather than scary, which of course was the opposite of what they wanted. Sandra Bullock has described the look of the creature in the deleted footage as snake-like and resembling a long, fat baby. 
Now, some people might like to have seen a creature to get an idea of what they looked like, but leaving something unseen into the imagination can often be very scary and effective, especially when compared to a poorly done CGI monster. In comparison, A Quiet Place only showed bits of its creatures, which worked fantastically well to create a real sense of dread. Also, if they had kept the deleted monster scene in Bird Box, it would have made it extra obvious that Gary was going to be in league with the creatures, and on top of that, you would also likely have worked out pretty quickly that the creature was just a nightmare, as you know the filmmakers would be rather unlikely to kill off the lead. Beer has also said that the idea of the creatures in Bird Box is that they tap into your deepest fear, but as everyone's fears are different, if you give the monsters a definitive form in the movie, it might take away from that concept. In the end, we still have Gary's sketches as examples of what the creatures might look like. The original script for Bird Box also reveals other deleted scenes that were rather dark. A particularly interesting and terrifying one is an alternate version of the final river scene. In the final movie, just before Mallory and the children reach the rapids, Mallory's faced with the dilemma of asking one of the kids to look so that she can safely navigate the river at that point. She realises eventually that it's an impossible choice and instead decides to do everything so that they can all survive. In the original script though, we get a horrific scene at this point that feels inspired by Hitchcock's classic film The Birds. As Mallory and the children float down the river and Mallory tries to figure out what to do, a flock of migrating birds pass overhead squawking normally. But as they approach the rapids, the sound from the birds becomes more aggressive and they start attacking each other. Dead birds begin falling into the river and their blood splashes onto Mallory's face. A bird then comes crashing into the boat as it tries to kill itself. The boat hits a rock and the budgies inside the box start chirping. Mallory hears the sound of a monster nearby and grabbing an oar pokes it in the direction of the creature which retaliates by capsizing the boat. This scene would have replaced the scene with the rapids that caused the boat to capsize in the final movie and it would also have skipped over Mallory having to decide which child would face the mortal danger of being the lookout. Like the alternate ending, a suicidal bird attack would have been a rather shocking scene, so I can see why this wasn't included if the director wanted to tone down some of the story's darkness. And showing Mallory deciding to save both children adds a touch more optimism to the final movie. So, do you wish any of these deleted scenes had been in the movie? And what are your theories about the monsters in Bird Box? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. Next up, tap left for more horror movie deleted scenes or tap right for another video you're sure to like. Thanks for watching and see you next time, yippee ki movie lovers!